Today we're opening old first edition Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Time to do 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 What's up guys, we're back with another Bright Shirt video and in today's video I have a ton of old packs that we will be opening up in this video. These are not my packs, these were sent to me by Jackson. Jackson also has a note. Here we go, Jackson, hi Ruxin, I thought it'd be fun if you and I had a gamble. Divide the pulls into two equal piles, you versus me. Whoever opens the most foils wins, tie goes to you. Oh, I'll take the tie, nice. We got a little advantage there. If I lose, I will send you a blue eyes Kaiba 10 to open. If you lose, I will let you decide. All right, so it looks like you guys are gonna be rooting for me because we get to open a blue eyes 10 if I win. So make sure you root for Ruxin34 in the comments. But he's not giving me the 10. He's just letting me open it. If he wins, I will be giving him a Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. This is an original, not a reprint. And then a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning original from Invasion of Chaos. So if he wins the pack battle, he gets both these cards. If I win, we get to open a blue eyes 10 on the channel. Before we split them up, let me show you everything he sent us. We have a Force of the Breaker. There's a special edition Force of the Breaker. It's been a, not that long since we've opened this. We've opened quite a bit of that recently. We've got a GX Special Edition, the one that's very hard to show because it's so long. But there's a, you know, the, the error card in there. There's those. And then a Forbidden Legacy to go along with the other packs that are in here that I showed you guys earlier. Before we actually hop into it, he sent us a giveaway as well. He has this giveaway for today, an 8.5. What is it? Delinquent Duo First Edition from CGC. This is a nice giveaway. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know who you think will win this battle. I'm just splitting them up at random. I get the advantage of splitting them up however I want it. <laughs> and also thank Jackson for sending in some amazing content for the channel. Completely free. I'm just going to open them up for him and send them back. So this is really fun for me and awesome content for you guys. He also sent us a future giveaway. This is a Haman Lord of Striking Thunder Ultra Rare from Shadow of Infinity. We've never pulled this. This is a very nice card in near mint eight we're doing a lot of graded card giveaways recently so hope you guys like them make sure to enter that giveaway that one will be in a future video all right so because he sent me the packs and he said i get to decide to split them up i guess i get to pick which ones i think are best for my side so it's kind of an advantage for me i also get the tie i think he kind of wants us to win so we open the, the tin that's what it seems like uh so this is what i'm gonna give him he's gonna take the gx special edition i decided to go with the forbidden legacy over the gx special edition i think this has potential better value because of when these gx sets it's really hard to pull those like high rarity ultimates and i'm pretty sure you can't even get the cover card ultis in these in this blister so i think that one has less potential so then we're gonna split a each have a shadow of infinity blister then we both get one of each magician's force and invasion of chaos i figure we should just split those evenly then he will have another shadow of infinity first edition in a lost millennium i will take the glass and the unlimited metal raiders just because i like metal raiders this really doesn't have anything to do with strategy to be honest and then this one's kind of tough i'm gonna have to open this up so we can actually split these evenly i'm gonna give him the dark beginning and i guess i'll take one invasion of chaos one force of the breaker and he'll get the other one i'm gonna open this one up so we can split them up the others i'm just gonna keep in their packaging and stuff all right guys let's get started i think we're we're gonna start with the blisters let's make sure i don't get these confused on which side is which this is jackson's side we're gonna start with the blisters because they take up so much room and it'll just be easier for the rest of the video if i start with these uh we're gonna do dark beginning one actually a really fun set but there's not a lot of crazy value in this set which is why i decided to give it to him however there are some decent comments i think you could pull that might be worth a couple bucks let's see it's all gonna be one dollar plus cards that count towards the tally on if we get you know you know who wins the battle we got our bounty in the background that's what we're going to be giving up here we go potentially we have a i hate how they do this back i think that's the rare i don't know if we get a foil after that jalgen thousand dragon wicked worm beast we got a green kappa gora turtle twin headed wolf let's see if there's any good commons at least dark coffin that's a pretty weird card you don't see very often bottomless shifting sand mirage that's crazy i don't know if that's a dollar or not but it's a crazy card timidity and warrior returning alive so we're starting it off with a rare i hate how they put the rare right at the beginning i always forget that so could have done pack trick but i didn't know all right i'm gonna start it off hot with a gladiators assault first edition blister i shouldn't have taken this because i absolutely never pull anything good out of this set but i just like opening it so i had to take it some of my strategy kind of fell by the wayside and i started just picking packs i liked let's go glass uh, he may or may not have gotten a little bit from that Mirage, so it could be even right now. Sometimes when I'm talking about like what the actual score is, later the editor is editing it and it's so much different, you know? <laughs> that Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! video, I had no idea in those pre-releases. Let's go. One, two, three. Here we go. We have Double-Edged Sword Technique. Let's get a Magic Formula. How about that? We got a uh, Nimbus Man. A Ghost Shirt would be amazing as well. Light and Prisoning Mirror. Probably worth something until they reprinted it recently. Truckroid. Summon Cloud. We got Gladiator to Beast Demakari. Oh, an ultra rare evil hero, Lightning Golem. 
Okay, that's pretty sick. I think this card's like $1.50. So I think we did in fact hit something that's worth over a dollar. So it's an ultra rare, but it's not crazy money, but it's still on the board. All right, not a bad start for me. Ultra rare, we're trying to win so we can open up a blue eyes tin. We have not opened up one of those in quite a while because they've gotten very, very expensive at this point. <sighs> Shadow of Infinity first edition. I mean, here's the thing. I want to win the battle, but if we can pull them at ulti sacred beast, I'd be down for that, or one in general, because as I said, I've never pulled one. Maybe him sitting one for a giveaway was enough to actually pull something. We got a Silent Insect next to be lost. We got Evil Elemental Hero, Neo Bubbleman. There's no evilness about him. Super Junior Confrontation playing video games. We got Saber Beetle, Magnus Earl level two. We got the Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, and a Phantasmal Martyrs, just a rare, and then a Death Frog. So it is four from the back. I always do three just to be safe. But uh, yeah, there's no uh, rare included every single time. So that means it's going to be four. Now it's my turn. Shadow of Infinity. Here we go. Can I pull him an ultimate rare sacred beast? I believe that we can do this. It's, it's, it's rigged if I pull something right here. Imagine. Imagine. I'm down for you all thinking it's rigged to, for that to happen. I just hit that last card. Okay, we're good. Four from the back. We have next to be lost. Silent Insect. Let's go. We got to beat Jackson. Death Frog. We've got the Photon Generator, Tinkabito Shien, the Knockoff Wild Heart, Machine King Prototype, Super Junior Confrontation added again, Ancient Gear Drill, and I think this is where it would be. Option Hunter, no, not the scorpion looking guy with one eyeball, it's really scary. Okay, no big deal, first edition, the Lost Millennium, it's pretty low scoring right now, I think it's probably like 1.5 1, 1. to 0, <laughs> unless that Mirage was worth something, then we're probably like tied. Let's go. Can he get Flame Wingman, Ancient Gear Golem, something insane? We got also the Earth Charmer, Kamenate Blow, Guardian Statue, Battery Man, Double A, Elemental Hero, Avian, a classic, Minefield Eruption, Elemental Hero, Spark Man, also a classic, Rock Bombardment, and we have a DD Survivor, another crazy card. If it's an ulti, pretty solid one actually but unfortunately just a rare it's my turn i will take force of the breaker i'm yami yugi now all right let's go ultra ulti right here imagine it's gonna be the doom fire dragon it's gonna happen it's gonna be awesome one two three four i've never pulled that card it would be sick we have secrets of the gallant volcanic blaster tornado introduction to gallantry crystal blessing hard selling zombie gravity crush dragon Wildfire and the volcanic shell. No, just another rare. We need to pull something or, I mean, any pull can put us ahead of us. So we're very close right now. Okay, he is going in for his other Shadow of Infinity pack. Come on, guys. One day we're going to pull Sacred Beast, right? One day it's going to happen. Is today the day? Is, that the, is this the day that's going to happen? One, two, three, four. You got to believe. Malice Ascendant, I believe. We got a Photon Generator unit. Death Frog, Angel Gear Factory, Chain Thrasher, Sam Sarah, Goki Pond, End of the World, and Phantasmal Martyrs again, the same rare. You hate to see that. That's just a slap in the face right there. Okay, I think it's time to break into the Forbidden Legacy. I think we're going to open this up. FYI, this used to be $9.99. Can you guys imagine? That would be sweet. Ah! Punch the mic. Okay, I've cracked open my Forbidden Legacy. I'm excited about this Pop-Tart pack. If we can get a Blue Eyes, I would really have a huge advantage over the Wild Heart value, I think. So that would be big for our potential win. We're going to start off with Spell Ruler when opening this Forbidden Legacy. EN pack. Let's see if we can get the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon EN. I'm down for that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I think it's still one, two, three, four. Chain Energy, the creepiest looking monster guy. High Tide Gyojin, Boar Soldier, Hamburger Recipe, Twin Long Rods Numero Dos, Chorus of Sanctuary, Mechanical Snail, we've got a Slot Machine, where's his little brother, I don't think, I think it's the rare next. Oh, in the Arkansas Razorbacks, unfortunately, not a foil again, so we have one Ultra Rare so far, that's it. And now it is time for Jackson to break into his GX Special Edition, let's get these packs out. All right, the GX Special Edition has been opened. We have the Wild Heart Misprint Seal. This is probably, I don't know exactly, I would guess around three bucks, but we'll have that prop up on the screen that's added to his tally. They may have just taken the lead for him, to be honest. Then we have Elemental Hero, or Elemental Energy, Lost Millennium, and Cybernetic Revolution. We're gonna start off with the Lost Millennium Unlimited. You don't see this very often, to be honest. It's kind of weird to see Unlimited Lost Millennium. So let's see if we can pull something 
Awesome. We have Mind Golem. Grave Lure. Oss of the Earth Charmer. Impenetrable Formation. Elemental Hero Avian. Level Conversion Lab. Elemental Hero Burstinatrix. Doriato's Blessing. And... Legendary Black Belt, just another rare. We got to heat up. Jackson, I'm telling you, your, your packs, make them, make them happen, baby. Your side, specifically, because you got to make a comeback, right? I mean, you're probably ahead, actually, with that promo. Maybe I got to make a comeback. All right, to match his promo, we're going to go ahead and open our Pop-Tart pack. Let's see. Did we get the Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, or Karibo? I'm hoping it's either Dark Magician or Blue Eyes, especially. Blue Eyes would be great. I don't know which way spoils it, so I'm just going to pull the the card out very carefully like this. See if I can do it without spoiling. Gotta be careful with these corners too. Yeah, let's see if we can do a little bit of that action. There we go. What is the promo? Is it the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Okay, we got it out the correct way. Let's check the back, check the condition. Actually looks really clean for Forbidden Legacy. That's nice. Come on, Blue Eyes. Ooh, Dark Magician right in the middle. So not bad. That's probably pretty decent. I'd I bet it's more than the Wild Heart, but I'm not totally sure. Wild Heart, I think, is a few bucks. This one's probably slightly more. We might have won the promo battle. We'll have to see when it pops up on the screen. You guys already know by the time we've been rambling about this. It looks really nice in condition. That's like near mint. Okay, whether or not we took the lead back, we need to continue to pull stuff. So we have Metal Raiders. This is the EN pack from the Forbidden Legacy. Let's pull a Pecanio Moth to win this thing. Because you can't beat Pecanio Moth. I think I auto win if I pull that. Don't mind the Angel of Silence. We got Little Swords and a Veil. Block Attack. Cocoon of Evolution. Swamp Battle Guard. We got Tremendous Fire. Trent from the forest of where the Ents live. We have a Punished Eagle and... Elegant Egotist. No! Okay, okay. It's still anybody's game at this point. All right, Jackson. Elemental Energy. That's what you want to do. I would love to pull a Shining Flare Wingman for you. That would be awesome. That'd be a way to win right there. One, two, three, four. It'd be very tough to beat that. <sighs> Simultaneous loss. Dark World Lightning. El Etoil Cyber. I don't know how to say that. We got a Hita, Area, Oja Muscle, Familiar Possessed Win. That's a lot of Familiar Possessed right there. And then a Force of Darkness. And then Brawn, the Mad King of Dark World. We need some foil luck, guys. Really, one foil pulled so far. Don't worry. Legend of Blue Eyes. When we pull this Blue Eyes White Dragon, it's not going to matter. We're going to be happy. It's going to be totally worth it. Blue Eyes White Dragon, I believe in you. One, two, three, four. We have Masaki the Legendary Swordsman. M Warrior number one. Mountain. Violet Crystal. Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. Dark Energy. Can we get that? Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia, Monster Reborn. Any of those would be awesome. Flame Manipulator. We have Frenzied Panda. And a two-pronged attack. No, it was a dud of a Forbidden Legacy. Fortunately, we did get a near mint promo. I think that's probably nice. A little bit off-centered, but really nice condition there. That's a plus, but not good for our battle. Cybernetic Revolution. Cyber and Dragon could end this thing. Could just win it for Jackson. I'm pretty nervous. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Jetroid. That was trippy. We got a Rux and Special into another Jetroid. That was strange. Battery Man C. Doitsu. Fusion Recovery. Spiritual Wind Dart. Miyabi. Poison Draw Frog. And... Magical Explosion. <sighs> Where are these foils? This is insane. We are down to... My fourth to last pack, and he has three packs. I have Metal Raiders, for, or not first edition, original print, so you can tell by the logo there, but it's not first ed. It also was a little bit like printed weird where it's got extra silver there. Maybe this is the pack. It was formerly what? Four nine, 449, insane. I wish they were still that cheap. I mean, they are. When we get the reprint, they're gonna be that cheap. So let me know in the comments if you're excited about those reprints coming up in April. That's gonna be super fun to open. We're definitely gonna stream some. We had Occupy, we got Roaring Ocean Snake, but nothing compares to the original, that's for sure. He became a, look at the centering on these. It's terrible. Kaminari Attack, we've got Deep Sea Shark. It's getting a little better as we go. Kojikazi, that's way better. Swords of Deep Seated. Guilty of the D Knight, one of the coolest artworks in all of Metal Raiders, and then a tribute to the dude. It is a foil. You know, ironically, this might be under a dollar though. We got a foil though. That's a plus. We'll take it. A tribute to the doom. Look at the centering. What in the world? It is original print though, so that is pretty cool. I'll take another foil. Not bad at all. Okay, three packs to go. Let's do Force of the Breaker. This is his one from the blister. This could pull Harpy Queen. We could pull... There's a lot of actually cool cards in here, like Ryza Ultimate Rare. 
We could pull just Ryza in general. We could pull the Doomfire. Let's see what we can get. Volcanic Recharge. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Yeah, Sapphire Pegasus Ulti would be awesome. Crystal Beast, or Crystal Promise, Volcanic Scattershot, Crystal Abundance, Heart Cell and Goblin, Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, he's an old tortoise, Crystal Beacon, and a Gravekeeper's Commandant. Oh my gosh. Jackson, I somehow gave you the worst packs. I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah, that's pretty rough. But don't worry. We've got Invasion of Chaos, and I'm going to pull you. Look, you're not going to win against me and get my stuff, but you are going to pull one right here. So it's probably better because yours is probably more minty the ones uh i'm i'm putting up so it's a it's like a win-win here you know it's a win-win let's go one two three four here we go come on prickle fairy coach goblin granadura soul absorption let's pull something big salvage sylphid friend's hand mirror wait that's not a friend that's a fiend spirit of the pot agreed and a dark magician of chaos let's go i told you you're not gonna win but i'm gonna pull you a chaos monster i may have been talking about the other chaos monsters but hey this is the third one for some reason we always have great luck with dark magician of chaos and not only that it's an ioc-en version which you do not see those very often that is really cool Seems to be in really nice shape as well. Dark Magician of Chaos. I will take that. I do not mind pulling that at all. I think we have officially taken the lead. Whatever it was before that. Magician's Force. Hey, you can still pull Dark Magician, girl. That could that would definitely take the lead back. Let's see, Jackson. An intense battle is raging. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Destendal. Jar Robber. Union Rider. Metal Silver Armor. Metal Silver Armor. There we go. Rare Gold Armor. Magical Merchant, that's pretty good. I don't think it's over a dollar anymore. Too many reprints, but good card. Emblem of Dragon Destroyers in the next card or the next one. Pixie Knight and Megaton Magical Can. I somehow gave him literally zero foils when I split this up. This is, he has one, one pack left, so one more chance. All right, now I will open my Magician's Forest, which has the Dark Magician Girl. I, by the way, completely randomly picked these. I didn't do any sort of like weighing or anything sketchy like that. I just gave him uh, some of the random ones that I thought were, uh, you know, not as interesting. And somehow, I got all the foils. I don't know how this is possible. United Resistance. But it's a win for you guys. If he sends us that blue eyes to him, he's going to because we're going to win. Watch the start Magician Girl pool. Watch this. Miracle Restoring. Here we go. Paladin. We got Gather Your Mind. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells, which was changed to Spellbook, uh, Spellbook of Organization, I believe. Thunder of Ruler. We got a Koitsu and a Dark Magician Girl! of chaos and dark magician girl back to back for my side this is what happens for some reason when i open other people's packs do you guys remember with the uh with the stardust collector collector rare and everything oh my gosh what just happened i was like there's no way this is a hobby pack it's a loose pack it was a hobby pack and look it's not damaged let's check out the condition oh my gosh i'm freaking out and this is an original unlimited too the other one i opened out of uh mc1 or M mc2 i should say that was not original because it was an mc2 is there some sort of like denting going on there, there there's definitely a little bit of scuffing but that looks like not too bad a condition it looks like there may be like kind of a dent right there i can't really see it through the front so it's not too bad but still pretty good definitely better than my freaking crinkled corner one that is insane i had never pulled one of these well i had in 2019 out of the box but i have a loose pack i'd never done i've done it twice now recently jackson i'm gonna win but i think you're gonna be happy with this all right two packs to go now is when i start worrying about the footage like you know something weird happening with the footage so hopefully it stays alive wow this is gonna be insane oh my gosh let's go i just completely destroyed that pack by the way this is first edition ioc so if we pull something out of this i'm just, i'm literally gonna die it is <laughs> i am literally gonna die let's go we have begone knave amphibious bug roth mk3 right i love this card gail lazard griffin's feather duster we got an inferno Boganian. DNA transplant and his final chance to pull a foil. Enrage Battle Ox, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Literally pulls no foils. Okay, that's fine. I don't think he's gonna be mad. I got a first set as well. You know what? Let's just pull the CED while we're at it first. Look, I, I would would have doubted this was a hobby pack, but we just pulled a dark magician girl. So 
I think it's going to be fine. I mean, there, it could be a hobby pack for all we know. Let's just see. All right, Balloon Lazard. We got a Chaos Greed. Thing in the Crater. Energy Drain. We got Crimson Ninja. Griffin's Feather Duster. We got Inferno and DNA Transplant. And a Fuma Shuriken. That's fine. That is totally fine. We don't need anything else in this video. Jackson, that was an insane video. You don't need to send the blue eyes stand if you don't want to. Like, that was enough. That was awesome. But of course, I'm sure the viewers would love to see it. So thank you so much for doing this awesome opening and letting me open these packs because that was fun. I hope you're excited about your uh, your card we just pulled. And well, cards can count the DMOC. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.